Mr. Surprise by Ellie Bongo 327. Original Concepts by Roger Hargreaves 2018. Mr. Surprise was a man who loved to surprise other people. He once surprised Mr. Quiet. Ooh! Causing Mr. Quiet to feel, how can I put it? Woozy. He once surprised the woo he once surprised the woodest man in town, Mr. Wood, causing him to go. Ooh! Spinning around like in a peanut shape. He would once surprise little Miss Bossy. She was extremely annoyed. She screamed at the very top of her voice. The Mr. Man had had enough. Something had to be done. It was no fun being constantly surprised by Mr. Surprise. We've had it off. The little missus had had enough too. Something must be done. It was just no fun at all being constantly surprised by Mr. Surprise. That's it. We've had enough. <laughs> Little Miss Brainy decided it would be a good idea to try to spring some surprises on Mr. Surprise <laughs> to see how he liked it. <laughs> she asked all her friends to see if they could surprise Mr. Surprise. That was quite a difficult task because he was constantly trying to surprise them first. Right, everyone. We have to give him a taste of his own medicine. How on earth can we do that? That's going to be hard. <sighs> the first surprise they decided to try Mr. Surprise about Mr. Rush delivering a parcel to Mr. Surprise at his house in one unexpected lane. Hello, Mr. Surprise, said Mr. Rush. This is my parcel for you. What? said Mr. Surprise, sounding a little bit surprised. It's not my birthday! He could be sending me a surprise parcel, and what could it be? As Mr. Surprise started to unwrap his parcel, little Miss Scary jumped out. Boo! She cried at the top of her very scary voice. Mr. Surprise was flabbergasted. Nobody had ever pulled that trick on him before. Mr. Rush was very pleased with himself. This trick had worked. I'm not believe them. That night, when it was Mr. Surprise's bedtime, he got himself ready for bed. He made sure to wash his face and brush his teeth. He went into his bedroom and thought about the surprise he had had earlier. I must say, I hope I don't get a surprise like that again. That was not a nice surprise. <sighs> Mr. Surprise took off his glasses and pulled back to back the bed covers. <sighs> Boo! Shouted Mr. Lazy at the top of his sleepy voice. Mr. Surprise nearly jumped out of his skin. Ah, he cried. I wasn't expecting that. How on earth did you get in there? The next morning, after Mr. Surprise managed to get some sleep, he got out of bed, 
put on his glasses and went downstairs for his breakfast. He poured himself a bowl of Mr. Greedy Cornflakes and went to the fridge to get the milk. He was still a little shaken by the thought of the last two surprises that he had had. I hope I don't get any more of those surprises. As he opened the door, he got the fright of his life. Who should be hiding in his fridge but Mr. Greedy? Boo! cried Mr. Greedy. Ah! cried Mr. Surprise. Ah! I can't take this anymore! And what was worse was Mr. Greedy had eaten all of the food. Except for a carton of milk. That was lucky, I suppose. Hours later, Mr. Surprise is quite worried. He had so much more surprises. All because of his surprises that left everyone screaming livid. I should never have done all this, said Mr. Surprise sadly. Why did I decide to constantly make surprises? Suddenly, Mr. Forgetful surprised him with a very spooky trick. He gave himself one arm and four legs and got rid of his hat. Ooh. Mr. Surprise was extra surprised and really scared. He never had surprises as bad as this one before. At least he only did nice surprises from now on. No more constant surprises. He saw Miss Rain, he looked at Mr. Forgetful and winked. Well, well, that ends well.